name is Alisa Golab. I'm here today representing the Minneapolis Jewish Federation. Passports are being stamped right in the corner. I want to thank you, our co-organizers, the JCRC and the St. Paul Jewish Federation, and to the dozens of co-sponsors of this event. When the Minneapolis Jewish Federation was founded over 90 years ago, confronting anti-Semitism and dealing it with part of the daily life was all too familiar part of the Jews' existence here in Minnesota and in most parts of our country and around the world. And why we have come an incredibly long way over the course of almost a century, the fact remains in ways that are the same time surprising as well as unfortunately predictable that we still face this unacceptable scourge. But we are stronger now. We are more organized now. We now have a voice which cannot be suppressed. And we will be heard. <laughs> Minneapolis Jewish Federation is incredibly proud of the role we play in combating anti-Semitism. Every day, we fund critical work, both overseas and here at home, to address issues of anti-Semitism and to give all the support they need to live in safety and security, to overcome discrimination, and to thrive. From programs at Minnesota Hillel and Chabad at the U, to pro providing security to the tiniest communities in the former Soviet Union, Federation is here. And we will be there as long as necessary and do whatever it takes. <laughs> I have been a Jewish community professional my entire adult life. Yes. And I see how high the stakes are now. I assure you that my colleagues and I are as determined as ever to succeed. And if every Jewish professional and every volunteer does their part, succeed is exactly what we will do. Thank you to all of you who care so deeply about the safety and the future of our Jewish community and know just as the Minneapolis Jewish Federation has had your back for the last 90 years, we will have your back for the future of the 90 years and beyond. Thank you.